Yo, what's up guys, I'm Cheris, and welcome to episode 8 of the second season of the Road to Golden Reaper series. The series where I tried to get every drop from every boss to complete every collection log. Before we start, I want to quickly let you know that about 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't currently subscribed, so if you've seen my content before and you do enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to catch every episode as soon as they come out. If you haven't watched my videos before, well, watch this one and you can decide at the end. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy, and let's get straight into the video. Come on, just die, man. Okay, we got the Zog finally again. After a thousand hours, we did it. All right, we've once again run out of money from dying to Zuck. So I sold all of my dragon limbs that I got from AF King Tormented Demons. And these are 12 mil pups. So we have 371 mil to keep learning and hopefully not spend it all. There we go. Come on, one more hit. Where is it? There it is. Oh, Zuck 25. <laughs> I guess that's normal mode plus hard mode. Still no drops though. Let's look at the chest real quick. 273. Not oh, very good. And there we go. There is another hard mode. Wasn't quite flawless because I forgot to use this special action button and could just get insta kill at Zuck. But <laughs> still, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. 287 in the chest. And hopefully this is the beginning of not dying as much as I have been because <laughs> it just sucks. Oh, and also I literally used one dose of brew in that whole Zuck fight. So that is a very good news for whenever I actually go for no death runs. There we go. Oh, let's go. We got a drop. Let's freaking go. That, I think that's kill number 10 too. Oh my god, let's check here. All right, um, it's called Zuck, whatever you pronounce it. That's kill number nine, way above drop rate. Let's freaking go. Magma Core, I think that's like 800 mil. Boy, that's insane. Look at the chest here. What is it at? One bill. Oh my god, how much is this? 764, that's, that's, that's more than 764, I'm pretty sure. Dang, let's go. Let's go. That's another flawless run. And a new personal record, 3215. And a Reaper, 33 Reaper points. Okay, a lot of things happened there. No drop though. Can't really complain now, can I? Let's look at the chest. Chest is at 1 bill and 72 mil. So I think it was like, what, 8 mil for that run? Pretty terrible, but look at this. We got a magma core. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm AFKing Rathis while I edit some videos and we just got the pet. Oh, let's go. Let's go. What was the kill count? 1428. So we're past the first threshold. We need another 600 kills for the second threshold. But dang, we can stop doing Rathis now. I got to set up my my uh, gear and inventory to AFK Orikalka now. And we're one out of three now. Let's go. Okay, time to loot what is probably the worst raid I've done in a very long time. So let's drop those pants down to the ground and collect loot from Beastmaster first, as usual. Nothing into a nothing. Sad times. Pick up the pants, lock the dwarves on, and what do we have for Yakamaru? Ooh, an effigy. Let's get Effie right here. Come on, Effie. Nope. Second raid of the day. What do we got? Nothing for BM into wow two mil from BM is actually not bad. Lock the doors on and pick up the pants. Collect loot from Yaka. 2.4 mil. Okay, I guess money wise it wasn't that bad, but it's pretty trash. Oh wow, somebody got a little Duzzy. Yo, grats to them at 243 kills. I wonder how many of those he's uh re-rolled, but that is that's huge. Alright, let's get this started because we got some stuff to do right now. First off, we are going to unlock the uh, Rathis pet from the Rex Matrix. Let's inspect that. And we have unlocked Orby. And we're going to override it right now because I really like how that looks. Here it is. Override familiars. And look at that. <laughs> I really think these are pretty cool pets. All right. The kill count is at 1436, as you saw a couple of clips ago. And we are 9 out of 11 for the Rex Matrix. We only need the two other pets and we'll be done with this. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is take a look at the GE because I did sell the Magma Core for 
1 billion and 24 million. And I did that because I wanted to get this right here. Crypto Bloom top. Here we go. And we got incomplete bottoms because the other ones weren't buying. And that ended up being like, what, 1.3 bill for just the top and legs. It's pretty darn expensive, but it should help a lot with Zuck. Okay, so now what we're going to do is craft these Corrosive Flakes into the complete legs. And augment both the top and legs here. Yes. And yes. And then we're going to use an equipment separator on my augmented sea singers to get our perks back. We're going to add Crackwing 4 Relentless 3 to the Crypto Bloom top and Binding 3 Cautious to the Crypto Bloom top as well. And then another equipment separator for the legs. Continue. And then add Impatient 4 and Enhance Devoted 4 to the legs. Probably be improved, but since I don't have any money right now, we're just going to stick to those and hope for another drop to get some more upgrades. But for now, we're going back to Zuck. No, my yak died. I forgot to renew it before uh, between runs. Well, I can pick up the food. Oh, let's go finally. For some reason, I got to Zuck at like 25 minutes and then it took me another 30 to do the freaking kill. It was it was horrible. <laughs> no drop though. The chest is currently at 342 mil. I had to take the tokel out because I need to recharge some stuff, but still a lot of good money in here. Money is being kind of a problem right now. We're currently at 2.4 mil and we're spending a lot on deaths while learning sucks. So I sold the cannonball collection. We got all these 300k of them from uh, Carapac and Corporeal Beast. So that's 163 mil. Now we're going to put an offer in for Crypto Bloom Boots or Crypto Bloom Boots. Sorry, I keep calling them crypto. Um, I don't know if they're going to buy it. Let's see. Okay, we're just going to leave it in there. And actually, we, we, we're just going to insta buy them. Because this is going to help us use less food and probably die less at the suck. So let's just uh, insta buy them. As, yep. 102 mil. Not bad. And we have 63 mil to work with for deaths. There we go. That is another flawless run at suck. And that was 32 minutes and 30 seconds, which is pretty close to our PV. But it could have been much faster because I actually ran out of water runes. <laughs> so I'm glad I have blood runes to finish the run. But dang, that could have been quicker. Let's go! There is a sub 30 barely by 3 seconds, 29.27. And that was a flawless, of course, too. Very nice. Let's freaking go! That's a personal improvement of 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the very next skill. Alright, we're getting the hang of this, finally. Oh, and by the way, I didn't touch my yak either, and we had like 5 food left over, so <laughs> that's, just, that's just great. I'm not confident enough to do it without a yak, but... We are getting kind of close. Just finished another Zuck task, and that is 250 deaths assignment, for which we get 83 Reaper points. We're only 11 Reapers away from being able to buy another Hydrix and not having to sell stuff every time we die. <laughs> so I'm currently sitting at 5 mil. Did I try? Wait, I had a Reaper that whole time? <laughs> I did not realize I just did a kill or a Zuck without a Reaper, without a Yak. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Would you look at that? That is a 2606. Personal improvement of a minute and 21 seconds. I'm now in a Reaper now. So that probably helped. Oh, that's also a Reaper. 33 points. Like everything happened right here. Oh, let's go. Um, I one cycled Horakin. That's going to be a big time save. Let's go. Holy cow, that was some damage right there. Holy cow, no way, we got the pet. Oh, it <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Let's go, that's huge. 47 kills, that's normal mode and hard mode though. That was also a 24-10, we beat it by another 2 minutes. Holy crap. Oh, this is great. I don't think we took a look at the chest here. So let's see it. 392 mil. I have taken a few things out of here to uh, buy supplies and everything. And here is the pet. <laughs> that's just that's just amazing. Although as much as this sucks, I think I'm going to sell these uh, all this loot right now. I'd love to leave it in the chest, but my tectonic ran out and I am all out of money like i have nowhere i can get money from unless i get a drop so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna think about it
Okay, I've decided what I'm gonna do is use Crypto Bloom the whole way through just until we get another drop. And once we do, we can buy Elite Tectonic and perk it up. So for now, I took the perks out of my top because the perks on my Tectonic were better than the perks on my Crypto Bloom. So I'm gonna do the same with the Crypto. And then add Relentless 5, Crackling 5 to the Crypto Bloom and Biting 4 to the Crypto Bloom as well. And then whenever, I will keep these perks, but whenever I buy the other Tectonic, I'll try to get Biting 4 as well, and maybe even Crackling 4, Relentless 5. The bottoms are the same perks, so that doesn't really matter. But for now, we're just going to keep going Zuck and all Crypto Bloom, and we'll figure out the DPS armor later down the line. I'm so dumb. I wasted an equipment separator when I'm just gonna... Actually, am I gonna get any Tectonic energies if I die in the Wilderness with it? I doubt it. I was just going to disassemble it anyway. I mean, there's no point in keeping it. Let's just do it and do this as well. And we get a bunch of rumbling components. Hopefully that'll be useful one day. But for now, I guess we'll keep these perks for the Elite Tecton. How do the dwarves? Oh, no way. It worked. Luck of the dwarves worked. And we got a Magma Tempest. That is the most expensive drop here. Let's freaking go that is huge that is huge all right sadly i wish i couldn't lock this but i really need the money right now so we're gonna go ahead and put this baby in the ge let's go all right pct says 1330 so we're gonna put it in for that much and does it insta -sell? it does not okay we need to do another run because the aura is running and i need to do some stuff with that money but for now uh we can see if we can sell it for that. Otherwise, I'm just going to insta-sell it. Okay, so we're run. We're done with run number two. And the Magma Ability Tempest didn't sell. So we're just going to insta-sell it. Let's put like 1, 3, 000. Does that sell? Yeah, okay, perfect. 1.325 bill. Wow, okay. We're going to do something with this money. Right, I accidentally collected from the GE, but... <laughs> The first thing I'm going to buy is Elite Tectonic top and bottom and the Armadale Battle Staff to chuck in an EOF. That's supposed to help me with the Zuck kills. Hopefully we can get another drop soon and I think that's pretty much it for upgrades for now. Maybe I'll buy like a Seismic Singularity or something or a Praiseful one. But for now I'll keep the rest of the money for supplies and we'll see if these buy. Oh no, it bought the Armadale Battle Staff. <laughs> Oh god, disaster strikes. Okay, as you saw, the Armadale Battle Staff sold for 274 mil. That is a bit much <laughs> to chuck into an EOF, but I don't think we have a choice. We gotta do it. The Elite Tectonic Road Bottoms haven't sold. We are upping the price a little bit at a time, but we haven't gotten it just yet. The reason why you saw me killing Glacors when uh, the staff of Armadale sold is because I'm looking for these shards of Armadale and those are the ones that are used to make the Armadale battle staff. I got 24 right now and I have 56 in the bank so if I dump all of those in I have 80. That means I need 20 more to get my 274 mil back from the staff so I think I think it's worth camping those for like another hour around an hour and a half and be done with that. Also they're very easy to kill. What I do is corruption shot, dragon breath and greater concentrated blast that gets it to 20k hp that's where it spawns the minions and right now you want to target the enduring one i usually bleed it and use like a threshold on it you want to kill that one first because otherwise the glacor gets like a huge defense buff then just deal with the rest of the minions with aoe and then i usually end off with an opni power and that usually kills it but I'm not overloaded, so it didn't that time. It's pretty easy to kill these, and the shards are 1 in 10, so it's not horrible and shouldn't take long to get that back. Okay, so everything has bought now. We have our elite tectonic row bottom here, and I just upped the price like 7 mil at a time until we got it. We get 4 mil back. Total price was 288.6. As for the Armadale Battle Staff, it slowly sold for 274, which is just insane for a tier what is it 77 just because of the essence of finality and if we go to sale history over here we have our tectonic top which bought for 435 so in total we spend like what 700 like 900 and something mil anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video i do hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like to help it reach more people and subscribe to the channel to catch a new episode every saturday you can also click on screen now to go to my channel a video that youtube will select for you and my road to world and playlist and i'll catch you in the next one
See ya.